Good afternoon. Um, we have Avinas uh, over here with us, and I represent um, Devote Press Online Media um, Information uh, Web Web Based um, Agency. Uh, Avinas, I would like you to introduce to our viewers um, about introduction as well as your journey toward WordPress. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, hi everyone. Hello. So I'm Avinash. I'm primarily a programmer. I've been building websites since 2003. I mean, that's when I first built my website using like spacer.gifs and tables. I mean, CSS wasn't there then. And CSS Zen Garden came like right after. And yeah, since then I've been building websites and I've been working with WordPress since I, I, I think, I'm not sure, maybe 2010-ish. 10-ish. And I, I, I remember, so I, today I gave the first talk on React and WordPress. Back in 2012, I gave the first talk on JavaScript and WordPress. So it's come a long way since then. And yeah, I, I consider myself primarily a programmer. I, I like tinkering with things like, I don't know, new Linux distros, new Linux window managers. Also, I do a lot of JavaScript these days. I mean, I've been doing a lot of JavaScript since last, I know, eight, nine years. Very good. Um, yeah, that's about me actually. Perfect. Uh, you talked about React and WordPress. Mm -hmm. I would really want to jump into um, uh, having you put out those three to five important things our viewers can take away uh, through your topic. Okay. Um, let me just quickly go through and think. So first thing would be that R React is really good for single page applications. Please use it. I mean, not just React, there are other, other frameworks as well, like Vue, Angular, Woo, no, True, but, but WordPress works well with React and that same learning can be used with Gutenberg and everything else. That's why I say React, not because React is like, I mean, that could be my second point that React is not the solution for everything. I mean, don't use React if you have a headache, but, but still it can solve your front end issues. And the third thing is maybe there, there's a small learning curve, but once you get past that learning curve, it's very interesting. And my favorite part about React is I could never build a mobile application. I'm, I'm primarily a web developer. And after learning React, I could actually use React Native to build mobile applications. That was perfect. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, what do you think? Um, what is the impact on WordPress communities by having such WordCamps? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this, right? I Who would, be th who would have thought that I mean, I live in Nepal, so I, I know what Nepal is, but a lot of people wouldn't think that there would be a thriving engineering community in Kathmandu. Probably we should be hiking somewhere. But yeah, I mean, WordPress and WordCamps has really helped build the tech community. And I, I think because of WordPress, a lot of people got into web development. They, they got into JavaScript, they got into engineering, and now they're building like some of the best applications and products for today. Okay. Um, what do you think? Where do you see WordPress in coming five years? Um, will it still be a leading CMS platform? Mm, so may maybe let me answer that with a short recent sure. journey of mine. Please. So I, I, I did a lot of work with WordPress until 2013, 14-ish. Uh -huh. And then because I got back into like university, I did some studying and also other work. I didn't do a lot of WordPress until 2017-ish. And then I started working with WordPress again since the last year or last two years. And I mean, what I saw recently with Gutenberg, Calypso, I, I think React is, no, sorry, WordPress is going in a very interesting direction right. with first, mm, taking this whole idea of rich content development and helping users make that. Right. And the second thing that I see is whole this embrace, embracing of REST API, uh -huh. because now WordPress is not just a blogging platform anymore. I mean, it hasn't been for a while, but now it's a very good contender to build mm, like one of these new kind of web applications using some fancy smart UI and WordPress as the CMS. So I think WordPress will still be around in five years. In five years. Or it will still be a leading platform. Uh, that, I, I don't know, but I, I wish, I wish I would still be using it. Very good. 
Um, last question for you, uh, for our viewers, just to uh, get you in, into some different mode. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do for fun beside uh, WordPress? Okay, so I mean, I, I, I wear these thick glasses. So apart from WordPress, I still do a bit of programming for fun. So okay. recently I've been working with um, Scuttlebot, which is a whole way of peer-to-peer -peer very secure communication. Yeah. Also, also to build peer-to-peer -peer applications actually but my recent interest has been peer-to-peer -peer decentral decentralized web okay. with like that IPFS Scuttlebot. but apart from that I also enjoy like going to the mountains a lot ah, I mean nice. I'm glad I'm in Nepal so I mean I, I best, know, some best place to some months back I was at, in Mardi base camp oh nice best, best place very good, good. Sorry. All right, thank you very much, Beer. Uh, that was Avinas uh, with us, and thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you once again. It must be exciting uh, today, um, organizing this biggest WordCamp, Kathmandu 2019. How is your initial reaction at the moment? Okay. So I think. Uh